Hello, my name is John Beaufort. I'm the Programme Leader and Senior Lecturer on the BA Honours Product and Industrial Design Programme within the School of Creative Arts at the University of Hertfordshire. This is a short presentation just to show um, what course content that we cover on the programme and the sorts of uh, things you'll be doing if you study on the programme. So product and industrial design. The conception and design and planning of products for singular, small batch or mass production. Creative, inventive process combining instrumental factors such as engineering, technology, materials and aesthetics into machine or hand producible solutions that balance user needs and desires within technical and social constraints. And I'd like to show two projects here um, just to show the breadth of what drives design, what kind of issues we might solve in design. So this was the Hippo Roller project which was designed to be used within uh, poorer village communities that have to um, transport water across uh, many miles of rough farm track. Um, currently they were carrying the water um, on their backs or on their heads. So the Hippo Roller was designed to make this easier. So the set of user needs here and the set of um, design drivers are very different to the next project I want to show which is the Dyson rechargeable vacuum cleaner. So the consumer um, target would be very different to the consumer target market in the Hippo Roller project. But this one is much more about an aspirational consumer product, um, which has a very different user and satisfies a different group of user needs. So the kinds of processes and skills that uh, we teach on the course are broad, so allowing the students to be able to work on a diverse group of projects and products, with, but having common skills and processes to allow them to go into the areas that they want to actually work in. And that might cover research, problem solving, creative concept development, CAD drawing, 3D printing, hand sketching, prototyping both by hand and digitally, presentation, visualization, design for manufacture, and also collaborative skills as well. And looking at product and industrial design as a design discipline, we could say that it sits within technology, arts, and social science. So the types of input you would have into a product such as an iPhone, there's obviously technology in there, there's obviously it's about people, it's about the way that people connect with each other, so there's a social science aspect, and it's obviously a creative design discipline as well. Recently, there's been a growing emphasis that product designers are also problem finders as well as problem solvers. So there's this aspect of research and finding out what people really need. So I'd like to show just a short selection of student projects which embody some of the disciplines I've talked about earlier. So this was a, a, a product um, called Retain, and this was designed to help promote frequent use of dental retainers by pairing a hygienic case with a toothbrush holder. It promotes frequent, clean, and sustained use of dental retainers. Um, and the research that, that, that Sam discovered here was that many people who have to wear retainers actually don't wear retainers, and they spend large amounts of their time actually hidden away out of view. So this product was designed to, to store the toothbrush and the retainer, clean the retainers all in the same place. 
And what Sam was able to do here was to emphasise his creative design skills, his research skills, but also his um, digital and CAD skills as well. And the software that this um, visual was created in was SolidWorks. So we also we, we have a very diverse range um, of product interest um, for degree major project. Um, this was Sniffles, an RFID radio frequency identification reading dog that can be programmed to alert a child of objects, dangers and hazards around the home. So Abby designed not only Sniffles the dog and prototyped him as well and created um, the uh, technology that would go inside the dog to enable him to be able to perform the functions um, of the design proposal but also Abby created the service system that supports the dog as well so the actual um, process and how the, the dog is actually used within the home. And this was a project we had from Greg Drake last year and um, this, this, this project um, enables people with diabetes to um, self-test and self-medicate and allows partially sighted people um, to monitor their blood sugar levels um, and administer a safe amount of insulin dependent upon the results. So it's a both a technical project, it's both um, a, a project that was driven by a user need and also um, this kind of product doesn't currently exist. So we're able to exercise his research skills, his drawing skills, CAD skills um, and his, his technical um, product design skills as well. Um, this project by Rimal Bat, um, this one best um, new designer at last year's New Designers show in La Islington in London and it's called FIBA, it's Fire Evacuation Breathing Apparatus and it allows 15 minutes of extra breathing time to successfully evacuate a smoke filled tower block with the ability to track residents who have not yet been evacuated from the building and this was driven by the research that 46% of fire fatalities are caused by smoke inhalation. So again a technical project that required a depth of research um, and a depth of investigation both from the user needs, what the problem was, down to the technical specification and being able to prove that the technology could work. And this is Ramal here winning his award at the Business Design Centres and the judges comments speak for themselves. A very simple, easy to implement solution to a very current issue. Good to see a very positive and worthwhile response at a timely moment to a pertinent cause. And the programme's been doing very well um, with, rec with some recent awards. So uh, we won new designers last year uh, in uh, 2019. And then two years before that, in 2017, um, we got best, we got runner-up, uh, best new designer. And um, this was Kieran Sunhill. And um, he designed a product to help um, market uh, traders and retailers in India who currently sell um, fish off the floor um, in very unhygienic conditions.
So we've had good employment prospects. Um, so we've had students go on to work on graduation for these companies and many other companies as well. So some of them which you may have heard of, Seymour Powell, Tom Dixon, Hasbro, Dixon's Carphone, and Jaguar Cars. Uh, 